Hello and welcome to Learning and Technology with Frank. Today we're going to take a look at how we can take Microsoft Excel and connect it up to an Azure SQL Server. This is a great skill to have because that Azure SQL Server can contain data that's being changed by many participants around the globe and then I can pull that data down into Excel where I can do analysis and further manipulation of that data. Let's go have a look. Microsoft Excel can connect to many different data sources. If I use the data menu and I go into get data, you'll notice that I can connect to files, different databases. And one of the cool things I can connect to is Microsoft Azure. So I can go out to a cloud-based database and I can retrieve data into Excel from that cloud-based database. Now I do have another video here on the channel where I show you how I created that Azure SQL database. And I populated that database with a sample database, the AdventureWorks database. Here at the Excel end, if I go into the Connect to Azure SQL database, it's going to go through and ask me for the name of the server where that database is located. I'm going to put in the server name. This is the one that was given to me when I created the SQL server in Azure. And it's going to go and connect to that Azure database. Now, I am going to have to make sure that when I created the database, I set it up so that my IP address for my computer was permitted through the firewall, and I had to create an account that was going to allow me to access the database. In my case, I created a SQL Server account or a database account, and I put in the credentials here when it asked me to authenticate. It, you can also authenticate using Active Directory or authenticate using a Windows account if it has permission to the database. Because I have permission to the database, you can see I have the server here and the database here. If I go into the database itself, you'll see all of the various tables that make up this database with their data in there. I'm going to go to the customer table and it'll preview the data. I can now load that directly into Excel or I can transform it and load it into Excel. For this demo, I'll just load it right into Excel and you'll see that I now have all of the data from that Azure SQL database here in Excel. There are a couple of things that are interesting to know as well. If I go back to the data menu here, you'll notice that once I've made this connection, it will actually show as an existing connection within Excel. So you can see that I'm connected to the sales customer database. So sales LT customer database, which is the AdventureWorks sample database. And if I right click, I can actually edit the connection properties here. And when I edit the connection properties, I can do things like enable background refresh. So if any changes occur in that Azure SQL database, I can set it up to refresh here in Excel. So for example, maybe what I'd like to do is every 60 minutes, I'd like to refresh the data that's in that SQL database in Azure. Let's say, for example, I develop a little application where people use their phones or they use some sort of methodology for updating that database. So I give everybody that I want to permission to update that database in Azure. And then I want to pull that data here into Excel so I can do analysis with it. Uh, that's a way I can refresh it every 60 minutes and make sure that I'm getting that fresh data. And you can change that frequency as you can see right here. So there's a number of refresh options I have in here, a number of connection options that I have in here. So this is a great way for me to go and create a connection to an external cloud-based database that I can then do work in Excel, pulling the data from that cloud-based database. As you can see, connecting out to another data source such as Azure SQL Server is easy to do but has so many possibilities for us. In fact, if you're interested in how to set up that Azure SQL Server, I have a video here where you can go and do that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with colleagues that might also benefit from this information and we'll see you in the next video.